Good day. This is the follow-up to my last video about Canon R7 and the Canon 0.71x focal reducer. I will address some of the questions you have asked in the comments, as well as the issue of compatibility of the Canon Speed Booster with EFS lenses. First of all, the IBIS. Yes, it does work, but somehow it seems weaker. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Here is the Tamron 2470F 2.8 G2. And this is the Canon 70-200 f2.8 IS-3. Having IS on the lens does help. The aperture and other functions controlled by the camera do work with the Canon focal reducer, to answer a question from one of my viewers. When it comes to mounting EFS lenses on the adapter, it can be done, but not with all EFS lenses. You need to make sure that the rear element doesn't extend past the lens mount. As you can see, the Tamron 10 to 24 mm f3.5 and f4.5, and the Sigma 18 to 35 mm f1.8, have no problem being attached to the speed booster. The Canon EFS 17 to 55 mm f2.8 has a plastic element, which will prevent mounting it on the Canon speed booster. If you remove the plastic protection, you will be able to mount it. However, the rear glass element of the lens will extend past the mount and hit the glass of the speed booster, potentially damaging it. Therefore, do not use this lens on the speed booster. When the Sigma Art 18 to 35 mm f1.8 is mounted on the R7 uh, with the Canon 0.71x speed booster, it shows black corners at the widest focal length. The vignetting is present up to 24 mm in video and in stills only 35 mm is usable. The widest aperture is f1.2. Let's check the 4K 60p crop mode. It has a better image quality than the regular 4K 60p which skips lines. If you shoot a lot at 60p, the speed booster could help you recover some of the focal length uh, lost to the additional 1.8 crop applied on the top of the existing 1.6 crop of the APS-C sensor. In what I call double crop mode, the Sigma doesn't show any vignetting. Interestingly, the focal length shown on the screen doesn't change in double crop mode. Here's another lens, the Tamron 10 to 24 f3.5 to f4.5. The extra stop of light provided by the speed booster is quite useful with this lens. Unfortunately, there is a problem when the Tamron is used with the speed booster at the wide focal length, and is the infamous purple circle in the middle of the frame reported previously by C70 users. I haven't noticed it on the Ninja screen and only realized it was there when I imported the footage to computer. I have also noticed the purple circle when I was taking pictures with the Tamron 2470G2 at the widest focal length of 24 mm. So is there any advantage of using the Canon's focal reducer with EFS lenses? The obvious one is the extra slope of light and depending on the lens, a little wider focal length, but not as much as you get with full frame lenses. Personally, I wouldn't buy it just to use it with EFS lenses. Thank you for watching.